What's going on, everyone? So today was kind of interesting, right? So the Denver Nuggets, if they win outright the rest of the way after beating the Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, they will get the one seed. So basically, they control their destiny if they want the one seed. If they win outright, they handle business, then the uh, Denver Nuggets would officially have the one seed. How does this impact the Lakers? Well, if the Lakers finish in the ninth or 10th and they make the playoffs, Guess who the Lakers get to play in the one seed, right? The Denver Nuggets. So that is something that could definitely impact and implement the Lakers to some degree. Does this kind of light a fire to maybe try to get them to push harder? But here's the problem is that the Lakers don't control anything anymore, right? Like they need basically Sacramento, they need the Warriors to lose a game. They need Sacramento to lose some games, right? We really need to root for the Pelicans, right? The Pelicans need to handle business and beat some of these teams. It's just, it's an absolute mess for the Lakers because again, they didn't handle their end. They didn't do what they needed to do. They got break after break after break. And they just, you know, it doesn't matter. I say it all the time. It's not how you start, it's how you finish, right? You had a chance to finish strong. You had a chance to potentially even move into the sixth seed. And you, you fumbled it, right? You're at the 10-yard line and fumbled it. And now you're hoping that you, you can get a pick six or something to, to save the game. And it's just so many dominoes need to fall. Now, again, I fully have faith and optimism that the Lakers could still get into the playoffs, right? I've said it repeatedly. If we play Denver in the first round, we play Denver in the first round. I'd rather have a chance and play Denver than sitting at home watching somebody else play Denver, right? Even if Denver beats us, even if unfortunately Denver sweeps us again, it would be frustrating, it would suck, right? All the, the naysayers, all the haters, they're gonna come out of the woodworks and they're gonna be, ah, I'll say it like, uh, who cares? At least we got there, right? I'd rather that than us sitting at home and it's like, well, now what do we do? We didn't even make the playoffs, right? Like at least make the playoffs. One, I want more Laker basketball, right? I'm a fan of Lakers. And two, I do believe the Lakers can potentially beat Denver. Something I've talked about heavily is I do believe if the Lakers do end up, let's say they, they win their two play-in games, right? Which we'll touch on here in a moment. But say they win their two play-in games, they end up playing Denver in the first round. If they beat Denver, again, definitely a long shot. Lakers have not had a good track record against Denver, but it doesn't mean Denver's unbeatable. Healthy LeBron, healthy Anthony Davis, you get a couple days rest in between each game, I'll take my chances, right? So if we beat Denver, watch out. If the Lakers beat Denver in the first round, I think the Lakers win the championship because I think that their confidence, I think that the momentum, I think that everything, like that monkey off their back, all of it, I think the, the gates open and it's, oh, right? Like, I think it's going to be this, like, glorious moment for Laker fans and the Lakers as a whole, right? Because Denver's kind of been that one team that's just like, man, they just, they, they just have been better, right? So it's like, if you can finally beat them, the best team in the league, the defending champions, the one team that you've seemed to not be able to get over the hump against, well... I just think the Lakers are off to the races. And then, you know, let's say you play the Thunder in the second round. I think you're easily in the conference finals. And then let's say you play Phoenix or the Clippers or something like that. I think you can beat them. Now you're in the NBA finals. Right? You play anybody but Boston, I think the Lakers run through. Like Milwaukee, I think the Lakers run through. Uh, Sixers, I think the Lakers run through. Like basically everybody out east except for Boston, I think the Lakers run through. Um, Boston, I think, would be would be tough, but I think the Lakers match up really well against them. And obviously the Lakers, you know, they beat Boston without uh, LeBron James and Anthony Davis. But I think that a lot of ways that was also Boston just kind of settling. I know LeBron, no AD, be aggressive, attack the basket, but instead you just keep jacking, you shoot 42 threes and shot yourself out the game. Like those kind of things. And that's also one of the reasons why I don't really necessarily believe in Boston. But man, like it, it's it's one of those things where it's like, it would suck to see them, right? The very first matchup of the, the playoffs. But if the Lakers pull that off, I just, I don't see anybody beating them. Right? And I, look, I'm not saying that they're not, like the Lakers aren't capable of being beat. I'm not saying that another team can't beat the Lakers. I'm just saying that I believe that the momentum and the confidence that that would build for the Lakers would be huge. And the Lakers would just be, let's go, 
right? I think that they would see that open door and they would just bolt right through it. And I, I talked about this too. Like, like let's say the Lakers play Minnesota in the first round, right? I think that goes to like six, maybe even seven games. But if they play Minnesota in the second round after beating Denver, let's say even in a tough seven, I actually think the Lakers might beat uh, Minnesota in like five games, maybe six tops, right? And it's like, why is safety? Because again, momentum, understanding, belief, confidence. There's so many things that go into just players play. Obviously, LeBron James and Anthony Davis, they're going to show up. They're the superstars. But the the D'Angelo Russells, if he has a good series against Denver and kind of erases some of those demons, I think he just translates in the next series. Same thing with Spence. Same thing with Austin. Same thing with Gabe. All these guys. I just think that their confidence becomes just next level, and they just they start they look like a different team. And but again, we got to get there first. Now, again, I'd love to, I'd still love to get the seventh or eighth seed. It's not impossible. It's just, again, we need so many things to kind of fumble in our way. We need so many dominoes to kind of line up in order to, to tip them over and, and watch them tumble so that way the Lakers get into the eighth seed. Um, you know, I see people kind of doing all kinds of like, you know, the, the always sunny meme with the board and they're like, oh, but if this happens and this happens, then, you know, the Lakers get. Can the Lakers still get the sixth seed? Sure, technically. Can the Lakers still get the seventh seed? Sure, technically. But again, it, these things are so incredibly unlikely. Right? More likely than not, they're going to finish at the ninth or tenth. Again, I have confidence that the Lakers can win two straight games. Now, would I bet on it? <laughs> would I? Would I super count on it? No. But I do think, and it's not so much the Lakers. It's just there's so many things that go. It's one and done. We've seen it in. NFL, we've seen it in college basketball, right? You don't have to be the better team. The Lakers could play the Warriors in a seven-game series, beat them, you know, four out of five times. But if that one time is like what we just saw where the Warriors shot 70% from three-point range, and it's just there's nothing you can do about it, right? You're going home. So to me, it's like it's more so of just the 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 circumstances rather than like, do I think the Lakers aren't better than the teams in the play-in? I think the Lakers are would be the best team in the play-in. But again, it's just, you don't have to be the better team. You just have to be better that night. Right? You just have to be the best that night. And so that is something of concern. But like, again, some of these teams like Sacramento, I know Sacramento's had our number, but regular season and postseason are two very different things. Also Sacramento not having Malik Monk. I think that that hurts them mightily. Phoenix just showed you why they're not really, like, why they're not serious and why I just don't believe in them. They nearly lost to a Clipper team that sat their entire, basically played their G League squad, like, and and nearly, and it had them on the ropes. Like, if they didn't, like, just not be able to hit a shot down the last, like, five minutes of the game, they scored, like, four points in the final, like, five minutes or whatever. If that didn't happen, then... The Phoenix Suns might have lost that game. They were looking bad in a couple stretches. So it's just them, Pelicans, the Lakers. I, I just trust them against the Pelicans. Also, Brandon Ingram, what happens there? How does that look? Warriors, again, they, they would be my... They, Warriors would be my biggest concern just because of their experience, their pedigree, and Steph and Clay just shooting the lights out again, right? Like, it, it's just you know that those two guys are going to show up and bring their A game. But... I do think that the Lakers could beat them. So it's like, again, I would love to get the seventh or eighth seed, but like I was saying with the sixth seed, you know, a week, a couple weeks ago, right? Don't count on it. I expect the Lakers to finish ninth or tenth. And then if they pull off and end up, you know, falling face first into the, the eighth seed, then perfect. Right? Then we'll be excited. We'll talk about it. You go win that first game. Now you're playing Minnesota or Oklahoma City and you're in great shape. Right? But to me, again, it just it depends on just so many. Like if the Lakers had their, their own control in it, I might feel a little different. Right? Although the Lakers just had control and just blew it. But you, you get my point. Like, right? It's like if they controlled their own destiny, it's like, okay, you just gotta you just gotta win these last two games. We're in good shape. Which the Lakers do. They have to win these last two games. But then you also need several other teams to lose a bunch of games. And and if you get in a three-way tie with Sacramento, then it doesn't even matter. You're at the nine seed regardless. So it's just, there's just so many elements that are in play that's just, it makes it tough. Right? Again, is it possible? Yes. Am I hopeful? Absolutely. Am I optimistic? Sure. 
Right? Like, I'm, I'm always going to maintain that. I'm always going to root for the Lakers. I'm always going to hope for the best case scenario. But, again, you got you to gotta be expect the worst, hope for the best. Right? Like, that's kind of where I'm at. But, anyway, as always, this is a discussion. So, I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? Do uh, you think that the Lakers end up getting uh, into the playoffs and end up playing Denver in the first round? Are you comfortable with that? Are you not? Um, however, feel whatever your thoughts are. I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. It's been enjoying these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Now subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.